Hey guys, this is Garden Girl Laura Craigie for Two Peas in a Bucket.com. Today in this another seam double video, and I'm going to be doing both a 12 by 12 scrapbook page as well as a card. And I'm going to be incorporating a lot of tags on my projects today. So these are some of the supplies I've pulled out. Basically, I have a, all the product from the Memories Captured line by Fancy Pants. It's a brand new line that's just hit the store, and it's full of beautiful tones and patterns. And what I love about it is, mixed with all these kind of beautiful pastel colors, is this kind of chalkboard black. It's just really beautiful, and I know you guys are going to love it. As well, I have all my tags here. These are from the Pebbles Lakeside Collection. More from Fancy Pants from the Etc. line. Those are great neutrals. And all the ones, all the accessories there from the Memories Captured line. Those are tags by L Studio. I thought I'd point out in October afternoon, their designer Brad Packs always have a cute little tag mixed in, so that's really fun. This is the Melissa Laney pack, again, from October afternoon. There's usually great tags in there and these chalkboard stickers from American Crafts that I don't end up using. I also wanted to point out if you remember a previous video where I used those chipboard tags from Maya Road. And I thought I'd briefly show you guys the papers that I have here. Um, all the sides that are turned up are a mix of A and B. Sorry, these are all the stickers as you've seen for a little bit there. And so this is a mix of both A's and B sides, but these are just the side that I was drawn to for today's project. Um, I didn't obviously use all the papers, but I thought they were just so beautiful. And then if you flip them over, these are the front and back of the other papers, which are gorgeous, but I just preferred the other sides for this project. And in particular, this blue wood grain, um, I instantly knew I wanted to use that as kind of the background for my paper. And I'm just going to mat it on the 12 by 12 sheet, so I'm just going to trim off a little bit around the side so it'll fit perfectly on there. And then I sewed it down. This is the second pattern paper I'm using. It's so beautiful with those polka dots and the lovely coral um, kind of chevron on the back. And basically I just matted that on the bottom of the sheet that I printed my journaling on. And I want my journaling and my picture to be rather, you know, sorry, I don't know how to say this. I want them to be like the center of attention, I guess, really. So to do that, I'm placing them at the top of the page. So they're not off to the side or at the bottom or anywhere. They're right just boom right there because the sentiment um, of this page is just it's something that's important to me. Um, it's talking about him still sleeping with me and how I really just don't mind knowing that he's my third and last baby and this age is going to pass by so quickly. You just kind of let go of things like that and I just, I just adore that he still loves to snuggle with me. So for a quick additional pop of color and pattern, I'm using the tape stickers from the Memories Captured line and I'm just adding this yellow one. Um, I just I really adore the soft yellow and it was just a super quick and easy additional way to get, um, as I said, a pop of color and pattern. And I cut that so it lined up with the matting on the polka dot sheet there. And I'm going to put that little snippet back on the sheet. I like to do that and I'll use that on a project at a later date. So I'm starting the page by pulling out all the tags from the same line because I know they're going to match and um, they're just such, again, such beautiful patterns and colors. The great thing about these tags, too, is if you flip them over, they're white on the back side, but you still see the colored ring, the colored reinforcing ring. There you can see. So very useful because you can use both sides of them. And I want to create a big visual triangle on this page that kind of, again, draws you to the picture and the journaling. So I'm going to have embellishments at the top of the page, and then I'm going to use the two corners here where I'm putting the tags and that'll just really draw your eye right to that center photograph. These are really cute new embellishments from Pants and Pants. They're cork um, little products here. So these are, sorry, shapes is the word I'm looking for. Um, they're stars and hearts and two different kinds of arrows and they're ridiculously cute. And I just wrapped a piece of hemp cord around the middle one um, and I really just like the way that looked. At this point, I'm trying to add in some other companies and their tags. So I end up incorpor incorporating a Pebbles tag as well as ones, these ones here from Elle's Studio. And again, if I didn't say already, it's from the Serendipity line. And I really like the way that this looks. And this bottom tag is the Pebbles one, and it says take time to stop end, and then list a bunch of other things. And one of them is to nap, so I'm going to highlight that later on. And right now, you can see that I really have that visual triangle going. So I've pulled everything off. Um, because I hadn't adhered it, I was just trying to figure out the layout. And on this tag from L Studio, I'm going to use a stamp from the same serendipity line. And I thought I'd just dress up that tag a little bit. It was feeling a little plain. So I'm going to pull up my acrylic block 
and stamp that on there. Originally I was just going to grab black, but it felt a bit too harsh because like I said, the blacks in this line are more like a chalkboard, lighter, kind of faded black. So using a charcoal ink here is perfect. And if you can see, the stamp says, so lucky to have you and has like little asterisks by it. And it's just really cute. So I thought it would be the perfect addition for this page. So I'm just going to try and um, place back the tags and everything where I had them and get ready to kind of adhere them. So this tag, as you can kind of see, there's a strip of washi tape on the back, which is a little weird, but basically there was a, that bow on there was attached to a really long cord, and I wanted the bow to be right at the top of the tag, so I just tucked down the other ends and adhered them with washi tape so I knew it would stay put. Now I'm going to go ahead and adhere those cork stars to the top of the, top of the page, and you can really see the page is coming together quite well now. Um, it just basically needs a couple more embellishments and then to get working on the title. I'm going to pull out um, an enamel dot, and that's how I'm going to draw your eye to the little phrase on the card that says, take a nap. It's kind of the exact shade as the background um, blue. These are the buttons and shapes from, again, the same Memories Captured line, and there's stars on there, which is what I wanted to kind of bring in more stars. First off, to go with the cork stars at top at the top of the page, and secondly because he's asleep, so stars kind of go with the whole nighttime theme. And I just adore stars. <laughs> so I have pulled three off there, two chipboard ones and one little button. And I'm going to adhere those to the page with a glue dot. So now I thought I'd start working on the title of my page. And another new thing to the Fancy Pants lines are these cork and chalkboard like large shapes. Um, they are the perfect thing for journaling spots and for title work and so I'm going to use this as the basis for my title. And I pulled out my white uniball gel pen. Um, I wasn't entirely sure if it was going to soak too much into the cork and not be visible but by doing little double ticks, so I just go forwards and backwards as I go each time around, it really ended up standing out and working just perfectly. It kind of just makes that, um, the base of the sentiment just, sorry, the base of the title work, um, it's just going to pop that much more by adding little white ticking marks. And it'll just take me a moment to do that. And there you go, you can see it done. It just, it just really made it pop by adding those little white lines. And these are again new alphabet stickers from Fancy Pants. And this, I decided the title for my page, I pulled it from my journaling. And it said, it's going to say, Mama Loves You. And I wanted the loves to be really big and just the biggest part of that title. And I wasn't really worried about how the middle of the word was going to stick in there, but I knew I wanted the two at the front, sorry, the L and the S to like be exactly on the sides. And then I figured I'd just work from there and work in it. Actually, I ended up working out perfectly. I didn't have to overlap any of the letters like I thought I might. And for the mama and the loves, I know I have to use a smaller um, font for my title there. So I'm pulling out these teensy type stickers from Doodlebug. You guys have definitely seen me use these before. They're an old standby. And the yellow is just kind of a perfect soft yellow to use on there. So I'm just going to quickly spell out mama and then you. Okay, so now I'm going to call the page done for now and move on to the card. I do end up adding a couple more things to the page, which you'll see in a second. So I love the little kind of cut-aparts on this front sheet. There's that one that says thank you, and I just thought that was perfect for doing a card. And because it has that, again, that kind of chalkboard black, I pulled out this page with the stripes because I thought that they would go together nicely. And again, I'm going to have a little bit of a mat, or like use the base of the card as the mat for that pattern paper. So I cut it slightly smaller and then I'm just rounding two of the corners, which is kind of a fun different look instead as opposed to rounding all four. And for this thank you piece, um, I decided pretty much right away that I wanted just for a little bit of added interest to add it to an angle on the card. And then, um, of course, I wanted to move on to incorporating tags, which is my thing today. I was trying to get a bunch of tags on my project. 
initially I really wanted to try and work them to the top of the sentiment piece here. And as I've said in the past, and it's kind of a rule, that generally odd numbers look better than even. So I really wanted to try and incorporate three on there, but I didn't want them to poke out the sides because it just looked kind of funny. And then I decided that three just really wasn't going to fit in the top. So eventually I wise up to the fact that the, the side of the sentiment is much bigger and would fit way better there. So at that point I pulled out, I decided to map the sentiment there and I had a piece of scrap paper and as I was putting it on there it actually had a ton more room at the bottom and I decided just to leave it because it kind of looked like a little Polaroid. So that was definitely a little happy accident. I wasn't intending on it. I was just going to trim it out but it ended up working out really well. And there I decide of course that the tags are going to have much better spacing on the side. And I just want to sew um, a perimeter stitch around that sentiment card. I didn't do any other sewing on it, just a, and I actually used green thread just to perfectly sew around there. And I was going to duplicate this one. I thought I was going to duplicate the three stars like I did on the layout, but they were a bit too big for the card, so I decided to just go with the smaller star cork shape, and then I thought I'd add some enamel dots and have those go beside it. And it kind of worked really well. You can see there. And one last embellishment that I want to add is these Tim Holtz mini paper clips. They're just so darling and cute, and I thought a little addition of metal to the card would just be a nice touch. So I'm pretty much done with my card here, and I'm going to pull back out my page and add a couple more of those little paper clips to the page. Since I already had them pulled out for the card, I thought, I just thought, you know what, these are going to make another nice little addition to the layout. And at this point, I think I'm done. Again, I do end up adding a tiny bit more, but um, I really loved the way that these came out. I absolutely adore this line, again, called Memories Captured. It's definitely one you should pick up. Um, it worked so well today for the soft colors for the little picture, um, the black and white picture that I chose, and I had so much fun making these. Um, I used a lot, of a, a lot of my tags up, which I think are just such a staple in scrapbooking, or they really should be if they're not in yours, because they're just an easy way to add a little bit of color or some stamping and that kind of thing to your projects. And this is when I decide that since I added that one tiny enamel dot to accent the take time stop tag, I thought maybe that I'd add a couple more and I really loved the addition of those. It was just so muted on the page. Just tiny little drops of color. I think pretty much every project I add enamel dots to, they're just like the greatest thing. So anyways, thank you guys so much for stopping by today and watching. I had a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed watching and maybe feel inspired to pull out your tags. And I will catch you next time on Scene Double. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye-bye.